Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here, hope you have a great day or night. Beautiful day here in Arizona, that's for sure. Uh, I'm headed right now to hit up a thrift shop and I gotta run a couple errands in the town. Uh, today's gonna be a, I'm gonna try to make it a very productive day in terms of just getting getting the stuff done, man. I got stuff I gotta do. Uh, no lawn care or anything today, uh, except maybe my backyard. But I gotta get my uh, my garage organized to some extent, man. I've got stuff everywhere and it's just annoying the, the crap out of me. So, uh, with that being said, I'm not too sure exactly what we're doing today. That's the kind of life I like, because you never know what, uh, what the next minute might bring. You never know. So let's see what we do today. Casa Grande. I can't do 55. So a couple of you asked during my live stream what's going on with the flea market here in Casa Grande. Well, I'm gonna show you here in a minute. It's empty. I'm not sure what's going on, to be honest with you. We're gonna take a little ganders and see. Everybody's pulled out of there from last time I drove by, which was just a couple days ago. As you can see right here on the right-hand side, the shopper's barn, swap meat, but no vendors. It's completely empty. It's been like that for a little bit. I'm not too sure what is going on over there at the shopper's barn. What in God's name happened here? Holy cow. That's not good. Anyway, let's go into the Salvation Army and see if we can find some wheels, deals, and steals. All right, walking out of the uh, Salvation Army here. Pretty good lick. Yeah, baby. Pretty good licks at that last uh, thrift store woman in there was like, you look so familiar. Are you on like TV or something? I said, no, <laughs> I'm just thrifting, man. That's what I'm doing, I'm thrifting. Gonna pop in this Goodwill. I was here uh, two days ago. Didn't grab much, but uh, maybe today's changed. So uh, I'm gonna go in here, hopefully we can find some goodies and make some profit. Get wet for eight bucks. Hmm. What are you doing up here, little fella? I don't know. Looking for some profits. Carlos Gomez, Wobblehead. It's collectible. Walking out empty handed at the Goodwill. Didn't find much of anything. There was a James Bond 007 game, but six bucks to twelve dollars. Nah, I'll pass. So uh, I'm gonna head home here and uh, see what else we got going on for today. All right, all packaged up. These three little orders here. Uh, take this to the post office here, but let me show you exactly what I sold here. All right, here we have uh, an item I paid a dollar for at a garage sale: GI Joe Rise of the Cobra, Sony PS3. It's kind of a bolo. It really is, people. Twenty-three dollars ninety-five cents with free shipping. I showed this in a previous video. I paid $2 for the Swingster 80s Burnt Orange USA Vintage Distressed Button-Up Puffer Vest. And this sold for $24.95, shipped with flaws. I paid $9.99 for this Bernay Wild Thing Smart Little Lena Autumn Boot Horse Cowboy Western Vest. Uh, ended up selling for $54.35. I thought I'd get more. I priced it at about $100, bucks, but there was no takers. Except till today, $54.00. Ten dollars and a fifty-four. I like it. It's it's profit, but it could have been better. Maybe it was a bad buy. Maybe it was a good buy. I don't know. I profited. Life's good. All right. I gotta say, I'm pretty embarrassed with my garage here. Um, you know, I got that storage container on the side of my property, and it was meant to get everything out of the garage here so I could organize it. And honestly, I failed at that mission. So I want to kind of get back into the swing of things with uh, getting this thing dialed in because it's 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 a, it's a nightmare. As you can see, <laughs> it's just, look at this craziness. It's complete and utter craziness. And let's do another pan over here. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> now it gets really crazy. <laughs> so my outlook here is basically to get the stuff cleaned up. I got to go through a lot of it. A lot of it is just stuff that's been sitting here for a long time. And there's this new junkage. There's 
um, boxes that need to be broken down. There's tools that need to be organized. There's just, I mean, you name it. It's all kind of misplaced. And um, I got I to gotta do something about this. So I'm going to spend some time here um, working on this here today. Uh, I got a woman who's interested in the headboard. I don't know if you watched one of my previous videos where I helped out a gentleman who was uh, owned a house. He had some renters, and they left some stuff behind, so I picked up two headboards. I've had a lot of interest in it, but no biters. But this woman's down the street. She's like, would you deliver it? And I'm like, matter of fact, yeah, I would because I want to get rid of it. So just waiting for a confirmation on that to... Uh, happen there and then we can go and deliver that and make some cashola for that and then get back to this journey here there's no doubt about it um i did list a couple items here today and then i'm just going to kind of create some space here because i got to be honest with you this is not pleasant at all i mean this is this is is hoarding you know and it's not organized and i can't stand it it drives me nuts so um yeah let's uh let's figure out what we're gonna do here i'm gonna start picking up here and hopefully she gets back to me pretty soon and that way we can uh See where the day goes. All right, so the first mission I'm going to tackle is this area here. It's it's always been a nightmare. It's just kind of like a one-stop shop. I drop all my tools off there. Uh, I really need some more toolboxes. But uh, to give you an idea, I mean, there's just it's just stuff, and there's stuff on the ground. It's it's chaotic. So I'm going to work on this area here and uh, see if we can kind of get some uh, spark joy in our lives. All right, got Kim with me. We are delivering that headboard there, and uh, what do you think about the uh, Franco delivery service? Well, this truck is coming in handy, isn't it? It sure is. This one's close, so I was like, I'll deliver it. Yeah. It's not even like three blocks away. Yeah, it's not very far. So uh, we're going to cruise over here. Again, I got this out of the trash, so trash to cash, man. You got to love it. Trash to cash. Trash to cash. Gray back. There it is. Gray back. You ready, Kim? I'm just going to sit in the car. you got to lift this thing up and bring it to the door, right? No, I can't do that. <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> no. All right, so uh, on your left, 10417. <laughs> Let's go over here and check it out. I shouldn't put people's addresses. Yeah, I probably shouldn't put people's addresses. So anyways, we're going to deliver this thing, and I'll show you the cash here in a few. All right, Kim, we're home. <laughs> Franco Furniture delivering. Uh-oh. Man, we're here. Should I just honk? We're here! Ooh, don't want to leave skid marks in our driveway. All right, I'll move this. Stop there, because we got to pull the gate down. Okay. Let's do this. Get some cash. All right, Kim. This is the first time I've ever taken a check from somebody. They pay with a check. He's like, I don't have any cash. Well, I said, okay. They're from Indiana. <laughs> That's okay. I know where they live. Well, we just talked to them for what, 40 minutes? Oh, it's been like an hour, I think. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, they were a little, well, they were happy to have another Midwestern yeah. group of people to talk to. Yeah. So yeah, 40 bucks, can't beat that. No, and they loved it, yeah. so. Pretty cool. Now I guess we gotta figure out the dinner situation. Yeah, what are we gonna do about that? I don't know. Oh, the longest time. Whoa! Time has uh, crept up on me here, and um, this is my progress. There's a little bit of a floor there. Oh, the Cubs koozie! <laughs> so here's the uh, here's the action I got going on today. Clean up this little area here, and um, got, we got some floor. It was it was pretty crazy over there, but uh, it's it's somewhat organized, you know. And, um, I just got to go out there and, uh, keep working at this, man. I mean, it's, it's a freaking journey. There's no doubt about it. But there's some space, a little area here. I'm going to show you guys really, really soon how I'm going to transform this garage. And, um, I'm going to hold myself accountable. Because I'll tell you what, I mean, I got money in the bank. I got money in junkage. <laughs> Life is good, man, but uh, it needs to be better. And I don't like coming in this garage, especially as is, and, and just seeing stuff, you know? It needs to be better organized. Stuff needs to sell better. And I think um, over time, we're going to accomplish that here. But uh, for today's video, 
We accomplished something here, right? Oh, Brad Pitt, what's in the box? <laughs> so, uh, just spinning some Billy Joel at the moment. I love the old VHS stuff. God, it's cool, isn't it? As a kid, man, you know, like when this stuff would hit the, the not the theaters, but the movie store, you're like, really? And you go like this. You'd grab it and hope that, like, the tape was there. You're like, dude, it's for, it's available for rent. Just little things like that make, make a difference, man. Little things that make you happy, no doubt about it. But today's video, this makes me happy. We've cleaned it up a, a little bit. We could spend some more time doing it. There's no doubt about it. But uh, at the same point in time, it is what it is. And we're going to knock this out. We're going to knock it out. I look forward to it. Okay, let me show you guys what I picked up here today. I spent a total of $9. And don't even ask me, like, how this even happened. This is very bizarre for me. Uh, I've been shopping in the Salvation Army for six years since I moved here. And I love that store. I know the people. I know the... It just It's it's a good vibe, no doubt about it, compared to Goodwill. And I always find some amazing stuff. And I, I just feel like I'm bringing stuff to the register. And they're just making it prices. I don't know. Anyway, let me show you guys some stuff that I picked up. Motley Crue t-shirt. Um, there's no dates on this one at all, and there's no tag, but it's it's recent. Um, probably 2006, 2007 is when they started popping this out. I, I don't know, $10, $14 shirt. Uh, maybe you might just hang on to it and um, maybe trade it out for something else. I don't know, but we're going to do something with it. Here's a nice Hawaiian shirt right here. Um, the tag is uh, Malahini, Hawaii. I mean, here, six bucks. I don't know what's going on at the thrift store. I mean, maybe I'm out of the game or whatever, man, but I just I just bring this stuff to the register and they come up with a price. Really cool little Hawaiian shirt here. Obviously needs to be pressed. There's wrinkles in it, but it says this. Bud King of Beers. No graphics on the back. It's all geometrical on the back there with the floral design. I just thought it was cool. I could see somebody rocking that, can't you? I was going through the clothing rack and I saw about nine to about 11 Tommy Bahama shirts. You find a lot of those out here in Arizona, but they were plain Jane's, just solid colors. And um, I don't know, I just, I didn't grab them. Maybe I should have, I don't know. This one here, three ninety nine, dollars Taya Bahama, is the Christmas theme ones. So it's, it's got the whole Christmas vibe going on here. And um, some of these are usually dated here. I haven't done a lot of investigation work on it. Um, but I, every time I get a Taya Bahama Christmas themed, Hawaiian shirt, they sell really good. So I'm hoping that this might be a $40 shirt. Um, it's got the whole vibe and everything. Palm trees and, you know, it's it's got little penguins cooking on the grill. Who doesn't love that? Fire trucks in the background, not sure what's going on, but I picked up this Rush shirt, Clockwork Angels, North American Tour 2012. It's even got the tour dates on it. Really? What did they originally price us at? I don't know. $1.99 for real? For a Rush shirt? You know how much these things are at the freaking concert? Craziness. I'm flipping through the racks and I just see this. Yellow on black, Roberto. And I'm like, Clemente? Yes, it is. <laughs> Roberto Clemente. Roots of Fight shirt. $3.99. But check it out. It's brand new with the tags. Jeez. I mean, it's pretty darn cool, man. I like it. I dig it. It's a size large. And I think it's going to fit me. I think this is a keeper for me. Nice embroidered patch on the side. It's got Pittsburgh 1972 on it. Um, pretty darn cool, man. So if, if this bad boy fits me, I'm keeping it. Always a fan of the Roberto Clemente. My grandfather back in the day, I remember as a kid going and I'd show up at his house. And he always had like WGN on. So those are the Cubs. He's like, the Pirates. You know, the Cubs suck. The Pirates are, gonna, are, are the winners. Cubs are losers. I'm like, yeah, okay, Grandpa, whatever, right? He was a diehard Cubs fan, but he was also a diehard uh, Pittsburgh Pirates fan. And the shirt's just got it going on, so I really hope it fits me. If not, we'll flip it. Hey, bug, leave. So I got to be honest, I really haven't been picking up a lot of clothing lately, but today was really decent, I think. Cheech and Chong, look at these guys, huh? 2XL authentic Cheech and Chong shirt, $1.99. Again, I think all this stuff was irrelevant because that's not what I paid. But I thought it was kind of cool. 2XL, 15 bucks. I don't know. 
maybe, maybe 12. Somebody wants to buy it, right? So I was able to use my 25% off coupon today, but I got more. <laughs> and um, I, I don't know if they're coding things over there. I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. I really am because uh, everything that I was adding up in my head, I expected to pay like 30, 40 bucks today, but I didn't. So um, we got a couple more 25% offs. Um, she's, I paid, I had to pay separately for one 25% off and I got these two items here and they only rang me up for the 499. These are HP 1578s open box, but they're brand new, you know, that's like 20, 25 bucks on eBay, a piece, 50 bucks. Then they were like, Hey, just, yeah, here's another one, dude. So this was, I think the find of the day. Okay. Yeah. Um, eight ninety nine, but I obviously didn't pay that. There's a sticker in there that says uh, sixty nine ninety nine, and let's just leave it at that, right? It's a nice pair of shoes, size nine and a half. Very very little wear on these at all. There is a little flaw right here, and it's right there. It's almost like somebody stepped on something. But these are Bally's, um, made in Switzerland. You can always tell, like, the logo there. It's got a nice steel in the logo. It just It's quality. You can, you can spot these a mile away. I'm sure there's fakes out there, but um, this is the real McCoy. It's just this little flaw right here. Because if you look at the other one, it doesn't have that. But um, in terms of, like, wearage, <laughs> is that even a word? Wearage, Mike? I don't know. I don't think, I, I think somebody wore these once, and that was it. You know, they wanted to look all spiffy. I don't know, but I'm going to resell them. I don't have to do much to these other than just explain what the deal is with these little two holes, which doesn't seem like an issue at all, to be honest with you. So uh, this is my finds for today. I'm really stoked about it. I've been a fan for, of Salvation Army since day one, even back in Illinois. Um, it's my go-to spot. You know, Goodwill's cool, but, you know, Goodwill don't take care of me like, like Salvation Army does. Um, those little local mom-and-pop places... I've always done well with, and their inventory is always flowing. You know, Goodwill is always, you know, they're corporate, man. They got things going on. There's a shop Goodwill. Salvation Army, as far as I know, doesn't have anything going on on the line. They're just looking just to dump stuff. And Anyway, these are the pickups. I enjoy it. I'm going to make some profit from it, and I'll show you guys when the stuff sells. Check this out. These lights are freaking amazing, man, by Coleman. Kim's dad got me this. It's pretty epic see what you're doing in the dark you might be wondering what we're having for dinner burgers yeah buddy mm. appreciate you watching today's video go out there and be great go out there and be amazing next time i'm out of here peace vlog over check out that sunset craziness